snack you guys I have been obsessing over the most basic thing and it's just apples so I buy organic apples from my market I peel them well first I wash them really well with fruit and veggie wash I peel them and then I chop them up this is just two pretty big sized apples and I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with my other obsession raw almond butter and crunchy from Trader Joe's this thing I just bought and it's almost out so I'm gonna drizzle that over the top to add some protein and this is what I like to have as a snack throughout the day or I'll have it as a post-workout snack before my big meal or in this case I'll have it as a pre-workout treat so first I'm just gonna sprinkle on some cinnamon because I love the taste of cinnamon and apples and I like the raw almond butter because there's no salt added to this and there's also no oil. And I eat a lot of almond butter, like it's so tasty. Hmm, I think I'm gonna try adding some of this almond butter granola. It's the same brand actually from Trader Joe's, which I just picked up if you guys watched my Trader Joe's $100 weekly grocery haul. I'll leave it linked down below so you guys can see what it is that I buy on a weekly basis. But I was trying out a new granola and I haven't opened this one up yet, so I'm gonna give it a try and see if it's nice. And if it is, I'll sprinkle a little bit over the top. It looks pretty promising. Mmm. Not too bad. Definitely recommend picking some of this up. I love just munching on fruit. So I'm pretty excited about this and it was so simple to make. Definitely something I needed because I was craving something sweet but also very refreshing and like hydrating and that's what apples are for me, like a little dessert. Come a little closer. We could do it all for as you guys saw, I just had an apple as a pre-workout with my coffee earlier this morning. I only ended up drinking half of my coffee because I opted to have a pre-workout instead just to power me through my workout. So I'm going to go ahead and toast up one of these plain bagels from Trader Joe's. And I haven't had one of these in a while, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. I usually get their cinnamon raisin one. But for some reason, I was craving just a plain bagel with vegan butter. So I'm going to be in between workouts. As soon as I have this, I'm going to head down to the gym and work on weights Ooh, a nice little crispy bagel you guys so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this earth balance over the top which is a dairy-free well it's a whole vegan butter which is what I use and also guys let me just tell you your girl has been hydrated her hydration gang is 1000% earlier today because I went on a hike I've already had one full thing of water this is my second one that I've just filled up and four of these is one gallon my goal is to get at least one gallon of water a day just because I've been so dehydrated so actually I got this water bottle recently and it's been making me drink more water so highly recommend getting yourselves a good one plus this one's great because it keeps my water so cold even overnight so I love that but I'm gonna go ahead and munch on my bagel get some work done and then I'll go ahead and head down to the gym and do the rest of my workout for the day still have some work to do in the gym so once I munch on this we're gonna go finish up the rest of our workout for lunch today I'm definitely craving tacos so I have this Trader Joe's taco seasoning and I just threw it in some ground chicken and I'm gonna wait for this to cook and then I'll show you guys the toppings that I'm gonna go ahead and add with this and I'm thinking I don't really want to do tortillas so I think I'm gonna do like a lettuce wrap instead just to add a little bit more veg in my diet today since this is really the first big meal that I'm having I don't know what it is but I like to eat some smaller meals like I said earlier in the day and then I'll do like a nice size lunch and then dinner later on so I'm just gonna have tacos we've got the chicken salsa some lemons cilantro some iceberg lettuce avocado and then some fire roasted corn this right here makes the tacos so good it adds so much flavor if you guys don't have this please go pick it up they sell it at Trader Joe's and I know Whole Foods also has it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my tacos and then show you guys what it looks like when it's all plated up. Ooh, guys, this looks so freaking good. Right now it looks like a big salad, but they are four individual like taco cups. And I put all the ingredients, topped it off with some cilantro and then some of that lemon juice. It's definitely gonna keep me full, but I don't think it's gonna make me feel sleepy or tired. Definitely a great way to get in your greens. And of course, you can load them up with any veggies that you guys like. It might be a little bit messy, but I promise you guys, this is so tasty and delicious. You could even throw in some black beans, but I didn't have time to go ahead and put those on today. Plus, these are kind of full and loaded right now. But I hope you guys try this recipe out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. 
And with my little chicken lettuce wrap tacos, I'm gonna have my Trilogy Synergy Kombucha. Good gut health is great for you. And also too, I really like the bubbly sensation that this has. So I'm gonna have this with my lunch and I will see you guys at my next meal. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my sweet potato fries. I've already washed this with vegetable wash and I try to get a good size sweet potato. You just wanna cut your sweet potato into fry shapes. So try to make them even so that they will cook evenly. We could do it all fair. Just come a little closer now. We could do it all fair. Come a little closer. these on a lined baking sheet because I don't want them to stick to my pan and then I'm gonna go ahead and season them with a few spices and of course a little bit of oil so that these bad boys get nice and crispy so I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to season up these fries I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder or a lot depending on what you guys like I really like this recipe with some smoked paprika and I'm almost out of this Ah, I hope I have enough. I've been making this so much that, wow, this is so sad. Okay, definitely would add more if you have it. Some black pepper. And of course, some pink Himalayan salt. And it's always important to put these in like a single layer, that way they will all cook evenly and get nice and crispy. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes. I am on my third fill of my water. I think, ooh, they are. Guys, they are done 30 minutes later and these bad boys are ready to come out. Some of them got a little burned, but that's okay. They still look amazing. I'm gonna show you guys how I eat these because life hack coming soon. This right here is probably the best thing I just came across not too long ago. It's the Thousand Island dressing from Trader Joe's. And this happens to be dairy free and it is so good for a dip or a salad dressing. But most importantly, you guys, it tastes amazing on your sweet potato fries slash sweet potato tacos. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. This is probably the most simplistic meal that you can make. Just sweet potato with a side of lettuce and then our Thousand Island dressing. This right here has literally been my favorite thing for the past week, I would say. So how I eat this is I take a little piece of lettuce, I take a sweet potato, I wrap the sweet potato, yes, I eat them individually like this. I wrap it up like a taco, you dip I dip in my dressing. Mmm, it's so good. It's one of my favorite things, guys. And you get your veggies in. I'm on my last fill of water. This is number four. And I feel really good. I love drinking water. I just crave it. It tastes amazing to me. Boom, get it in. I have to admit, this is not the most beautiful thing I've ever made for you guys, but this is real life. This is just some leftovers that I had, some grilled chicken with some brown rice, and then I just drizzled some honey over top of the chicken. So this is gonna be the last meal of the day for me since this is a full day of eating. After this, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna knock out and go to bed, and then I will see you guys with another video very soon. But don't forget to subscribe, and of course, throw up the thumbs up if you guys like videos like this. It definitely helps me out and lets me know that I should be doing more. Oh, 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 o